Hi everyone, today I'm going to be talking about buying bracelets and safety chains from AliExpress and my opinions on them and what I've found. So first of all I've got this rose gold one here which I bought for all my rose gold charms I got from AliExpress and it looked really nice. I know it's not sterling silver but um, the problem with it was it was very very stiff so it was getting it round and just getting it in to the catch and getting it done up was very difficult and it then be made it like a rigid bangle which when I got the charms on it was it hurt on my arm with a full bracelet with all the charms so unfortunately and do it ping <laughs> it was just no good whereas the um when i purchased one from pandora it's um very nice and flexible because i do have it full of many charms so that was the way to go so i also ordered some sterling silver ones but there was something wrong with every one of them, which was a shame really, because they were pretty. There was a shell, the ice, icicle one, and the infinity one. The infinity one shut really well, it held, was nice and firm. It has the threading sections on it here, 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 and here. So about a third, I suppose, of dangle charms and other charms including most Murano's need to be threaded on and I don't know if it's the fault of the bracelet or if it was more the fault of the charms but the last lot of charms I got from AliExpress they have a thread through the middle don't know if you can see that but um, unfortunately they would not thread on but my husband drilled them out and so it meant that I could actually get them on. So when you're threading them on, they have to go through there and through there and so on on the, and so on on the bracelet, which is a lot of mucking around. And in the end, the amount of times you're pulling them off and redesigning it, I thought, oh, I can't actually be bothered with this anymore. So I actually went over to Pandora and got the real, the original bracelet. So that that was a shame. Plus these here felt really really rough and maybe not good for the charms I don't know so that was a fail the problem with this one it's very pale inside I think it did say somewhere S925 but that didn't look like silver to me because it's usually a dark color it, it shut really well but the problem was um, this end part here was too thick um, to get, I've got a lot of Murano's, so yeah, it just wouldn't wouldn't go on. It should just slip straight over. Like some of the charms from AliExpress, you will find the holes are bigger, and so most of them would just slip straight on like that. But when it come to the threading ones, they just wouldn't pop over. So that one was no use. And this beautiful one here, which is the shell one, I think it is sterling silver. It's dark inside says it is yes 95 in there somewhere um, it was nice and flexible um, the problem with it was it would have been great for my ocean charm um, it didn't stay there we go it's just popped open not safe so it just didn't didn't stay closed even though it felt nice and strong so that was kind of the end of that so majorly for my ocean bracelet which I will do a review on I did go back over to Pandora and I purchased the original 20 centimeter sterling silver um, it's just perfectly round bracelet and I also got the sterling silver clip on safety chain which is going to hold nice and secure for my charms so um, if you use clips only they will hold your charms on but 
your bracelet can still fall off your arm if this catch fails. That's why you need to have the safety chain, I think. So this is a beautiful safety chain. It has the, it's very hard to move, so it has the silicon pieces inside to stop it from moving around. And yeah, I just feel a lot happier, and it's a very, very flexible one too. So I'm pleased that I've got that. So it's the same design as the one I bought, the original Pandora for the um, rose gold one. Although this safety chain is one that actually was pretty good from AliExpress. The safety chain part is often a bit longer, um, but it, it kind of is very similar to the real one. And um, focus. Yeah, it doesn't stay in place though. It doesn't have any silicon or anything, so it's just going to slide up and down. But it won't slide over this piece here, so it does work as a safety chain. Unlike these ones that I bought. So this one here was all right, but it did just slide up and down. It didn't have the silicone in it. Uh, the second one, and this one here, which was really nice actually. It really looked like nice silver. But unfortunately with them, the de-shackle part here where it has to keep on turning around and around and around. <laughs> looks like it's freed up, but I can't actually use two. That wouldn't twist, so on that one and this nice one here, all this... All that happened all the time was the chain was just swiveling around getting all caught up on itself. So it wasn't really very successful um, and slithered all around as well. So it didn't hold in place like a safety chain or a real, here's real Pandora clips. And they've got the silicone in them and they're hard to move or they hold things in place. So that's probably a no-no. Um, I would not recommend buying bracelets or safety chains from Pandora, uh, from Bloody AliExpress. Um, also, where's one to show you? I found buying the ones that don't have the threads just make everything so much easier because then every charm can just slip straight on. The threading is good if you don't have a safety chain or clips because it will stop the charms flying off because they have to thread round and round and round to come off. But for me, I just found this was a much simpler solution. Um, just reading my notes here. Sometimes you might find the engraving on <clears throat> some of the charms may not be as deep as the original ones. It does say Pandora on there, but an example here of an original charm, you can see it is engraved a lot deeper. So that's something else you can look out for if you think it's important. Um, another good idea, this is how I started out. I bought a second hand original Pandora full bracelet and it was a good buy. I have changed up some of them that I didn't like. I mean they're not all going to suit. There's one there that says <coughs> sisters. Well I don't actually have a sister but I quite like the charm, so I left it on. Um, I think I paid $325 for it. I did have to buy a new bracelet because it wasn't the right size. But to get a full bracelet for $325, it were all original charms. The lady had actually worked for Pandora. I thought that was a really good way to start out. Then you can decide whether you like the originals, you want to try some from AliExpress or a mixture of both, which is what I've got on here at the moment. Um... Most of them are the original ones off the bracelet, but these ones here I really like. Um, so they were from AliExpress. Another one, another thing to point out is size. 
Sometimes they're quite small, so I don't think the small ones look as good. It's better to have continuing sizes of all relatively the same size. Your Murano's are always going to be bigger, but um, that's just something else that I think doesn't look quite so good. It's getting quite difficult to um, tell if something's real and something isn't. Um, this Pandora Mino Murano that I got recently, unfortunately, a lot of them, the, the um, bale that goes through the middle isn't actually in the centre of the whole charm. They're a bit off centre. But it does say Pandora on there quite clearly, twice, although their font is a little bit different from original Pandora, but I don't have a large one like this to show you original. Um, but it, it is very similar. It's nice that it just has that stamping on it and on the other side. It does say S925ALE. ALE is always supposed to be something you can tell that it is Pandora because it's part of the original person's name that started producing them, I think back in the 90s, part of his name. So it can get difficult to tell if they are original or not. So I've, I'm pleased with the ones I get that do have that written on it because it uh, just makes it look more authentic. Um, and another thing I think I might have mentioned in the past was to look for ones that are original Pandora ones. Um, if you look on Pinterest or something like that and you see these ones and you think, oh, I like that one, I'll look for that one on AliExpress. That's a good thing to do if you want it to look more original. But there's so many to choose from. You know, sometimes you just see other ones that you like, that you're happy with. Um, another thing about buying um, all original ones from Pandora is you can only, if you go to a store or online, you can only purchase what um, they've got current stock and they retire their charms quite quickly actually. So then you find you're going on eBay or Etsy or something like that to get charms that you want and that's when you can run into difficulties of not sure whether they are authentic or original Pandora or not, especially Etsy. So that's something else that gets a bit confusing after a while. Um, so often the sellers give you a little cleaning cloth like this. So you can see it's really dirty. So I have used it on their charms. So even if they didn't look silver, they looked a bit too shiny. Every time I've rubbed them, they've left a black mark on the cloth, which if you use, say, a piece of metal like this rod, definitely no known mark came off on the cloth when I tried that so that's always another good test I guess yeah so I think that's about it for today so I hope that's helpful tips just my thoughts and that that have come to mind and I jogged down some notes that I thought I would pass on so yeah that's it for today thanks for watching